It's a brand new week, which means a brand new memory challenge. And I've been in the medical mood lately, so this week's challenge is to deal with diseases and their symptoms. So the idea behind this challenge is that you're able to see these different symptoms to be able to diagnose the disease. So, of course, you know, if you're in the medical field, that's really useful, but it's also useful to know, you know, if you have these different symptoms, what you might have. But of course, if you're sick, you should go to a doctor and don't try to diagnose yourself. Um, and so here I have a site that has a whole bunch of different diseases and gives you the symptoms, prevention, and treatment, which is really cool. But I'm not 100% sure if all this information is correct. I'm not just saying that because, you know, uh, I just don't know. But I'm saying that because I've been looking at so many different sites trying to find information that has the you know, disease, the symptoms, and that's it. But all of them have so much reading you have to do. You know, you can click on a specific disease and it comes up with like a book. Like, oh, this is what happened. This is what discovered. This is how many people have it a year. And so it's very complicated. But this side kind of has it in a very simple format. And that's what I like. And so this is the site we're going to be using. Hopefully the information is not wrong because I always want to learn, you know, the different diseases or like at least common diseases. So if I do have symptoms, I'm like, wait, I might have this. So, you know, Maybe I can you know, kind of treat it myself, or if I have to go to the doctors, go to the doctors. But of course, if you're a medical student, you would probably be able to tell if some of this stuff is um, you know, false or not. And But for me, it looks okay. And so that's what we're going to be using. I'm going to include this link to the site in the description below so you can go see it. And um, I don't know how many diseases we should be doing because this page does have a lot. But also, some of them are very simple, and some of those pictures are not Great, so FYI, uh, we're kind of <laughs> scroll quickly through them. Some of the uh, pictures do not look great because the illnesses are horrible. But uh, like, for example, chickenpox, I think almost everyone knows chickenpox and the symptoms you have, right? And so what I'm saying pretty much for those challenges, maybe pick 10, 15, 20 different diseases and learn the symptoms that go with them. Because if you want this whole page, it might take you a while. But you know, maybe go through, pick the ones that you like, then learn those different diseases. And so there's not really a set amount, or you know, you have to memorize this many or that many, or you know, maybe memorize this type of disease, no, like it's a viral disease or anything. No, just pick what you want to learn. Okay. Personally, I probably might do 15. Um, I might try to do some of the more common diseases than um, some of the other ones, like polio. Um, you know, that's probably not going to be a problem to. Um, you know, you're, you're going to face on a daily basis or something like that or every year or something. Um, but yeah, so that's what this week's memory challenge is. I know it's medical. And a lot of people maybe not, <laughs> don't like medical um, uh, information and things like that. But you no, know, it's just a new challenge. It's something different. The goal is to see the symptoms to be able to diagnose the correct disease. So good luck on this week's challenge and have fun doing it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on memory techniques how to do better in school, memory challenges, updates, and much more. Also remember to click the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below in the description. You also can check out these videos. If you want to learn all the memory techniques and learn how to apply them to all sorts of information, or if you want to start competing in memory competitions, you can check out my programs down below in the description. Look forward to my next video and get ready to get the best memory of your life.